the wonderful world of sewing and embroidering, the Husqvarna Viking Way, on your new Husqvarna Rose Model 600. Your Husqvarna Viking Rose is more than just a sewing machine. It's inspiration at your fingertips. To sew fashions, home accessories, quilts, and more, simply touch the picture of your desired stitch. The info display window recommends the best settings, and embellishing your creations with beautiful embroidered designs is easy. For easy reference, this video and companion owner's handbook are divided into sections. A stop at the end of each section will prompt you to stop your VCR to stitch the samples. Place your rows on a firm surface. To remove the extension bed, tilt it away from the back of the machine. Remove the foot control. Plug the cord into the foot control. Then place the cord into the groove in the foot control. Plug the power cord into the back socket on the right side of the machine. The foot control then plugs into the front socket. Press the power switch to turn on the power and the light. You'll notice stitch number one, a straight stitch, at length of 2.5, is selected when you turn on your rows. To thread the needle, gently pull the spool holder towards you and slide on the spool. Place the spool holder with the flat side against the spool to hold it in place. Use the small spool holder for narrow spool types. When using slippery embroidery threads, the thread net will keep your thread from sliding off too quickly. For larger spools, slide on the large spool holder to prevent the thread from catching on the spool's edges. The auxiliary spool pin snaps into the front of the machine for larger spools and twin needle sewing. To thread your rows, raise the presser foot. Bring the thread from the spool under the first guide, over the second, and follow the arrows down the threading path, up through the take-up lever and into the guide above the needle. Now thread the needle. The white ankle makes threading the needle easy. Place the thread under the presser foot and to the back before beginning to sew. To wind a bobbin, place the bobbin on the bobbin wind spindle with the Husqvarna symbol out. Bring the thread from under the presser foot, through the bobbin winding guide, and around the bobbin several times, cutting the end in the bobbin thread cutter. Snap the bobbin spindle down to disengage the needle and put the machine in bobbin wind position. Step on the foot control to wind. It stops automatically when full. Snap the spindle to the up position and remove the bobbin cutting the thread on the bobbin thread cutter. To wind a bobbin directly from the spool, place the spool on the auxiliary spool pin. Thread from the first guide, bringing the thread around the bobbin guide counterclockwise, then to the bobbin as before. When full, Remove the bobbin from the spindle and cut the thread. Lift up and out to remove the auxiliary thread spindle. Slide the bobbin cover toward you. Drop the bobbin in place with the Husqvarna logo up. Hold the bobbin and bring the thread across the front into the tension, then up and around the thread holder and into the cutter. Slide the bobbin cover back into place, then cut the bobbin thread. The magnified bobbin window allows you to easily see when your bobbin thread is low. The bobbin thread automatically comes up when you start to sew. Your Husqvarna Viking Rose is a complete sewing machine with all the advantages of professional machine embroidery. More importantly, it offers traditional Husqvarna features you've come to know and rely on for all your sewing needs including truly automatic self-adjusting tension. Regardless of the stitch you select, your tension is automatically set for perfect results. As a matter of fact, you can actually see the tension dial move.
the Husqvarna embroidery system has all you need to sew beautiful professional embroideries. To begin, remove the accessory tray to expose the free arm. Turn off the machine and use the small screwdriver to remove the cover from the embroidery socket located at the back of the free arm. Save the socket. Remove the standard sewing foot and ankle and put on embroidery foot U. The U or universal foot has two positions for embroidering all weights of fabric, forward for normal or lightweight fabric and back for quilted or heavy weight fabric. Tighten the presser foot ankle screw. Slide on the embroidery unit and turn the power switch to on. The embroidery arm moves to the embroidery ready position. A blinking symbol on the info display indicates the need for an embroidery card. Embroidery card one is included with the Husqvarna rose. Visit your local Husqvarna Viking dealer to discover the thousands of embroidery designs available. Husqvarna embroidery cards each have 35 beautiful designs. Slip the embroidery card into the slot on the right side of the machine. The embroidery symbol, a hoop with an E, appears in the info display window. Check to make certain the U foot is set for normal weight fabric, lever flip forward. The feed teeth automatically lower when the embroidery unit is in place. Thread the needle with 40 weight sulky rayon embroidery thread in the recommended color or one of your choice. For best results, Place the thread net over the thread to ensure perfect thread delivery. Use fine weight bobbin thread. From the design book, choose embroidery number 26. To mark the placement of the embroidery, lay the template on the picture in the booklet and trace the outline of the embroidery. Put the template on the fabric and mark the center and placement lines with the pictogram disappearing marker. Note the arrow on the bottom placement line. Touch embroidery number 26. Your selection will appear in the info display window. Use a stabilizer suitable for your fabric. Put the stabilizer under the fabric to be embroidered and put both on top of the larger outer part of the hoop. It is best to hoop your fabric on a firm, flat surface. Set the smaller inner hoop into the outer hoop with the arrow at the bottom of the hoop and the markings matching those on the hoop. Tighten the hoop screw until the fabric and stabilizer are firm and tight. Once hooped, you may want to give your fabric an extra tug. Your fabric and stabilizer should be as tight as a drum. To easily slide the hoop under the presser foot, raise the presser foot lift to the extra lift position. Slide the hoop bracket onto the embroidery line until it clicks into place. Check the size and placement of your selected embroidery by pressing the parameter arrow button. The movement of the needle outlines the position of the embroidery you're about to sew. Lower the presser foot and hold the thread tail. If you forget to lower the presser foot, the presser foot symbol blinks in the info display. Touch Run Stop to sew. The needle will move to the center of the embroidery. Take several stitches to lock the ends and stop. Flashing scissors in the info display reminds you to cut the thread tail. Touch Run to sew again. Once the machine stops, consult the info display. The number to the right of the spool indicates the color number. Check your embroidery booklet for the color order. Thread with color two and touch run to continue the embroidery. The Husqvarna rose will stop and recommend each color change in the info display. If the top thread runs out while embroidering, the machine will stop and the spool will flash in the info display. Simply rethread, use the stitch by stitch control minus to back up a few stitches, 
and touch Run. To slide the hoop off, press the purple button and slide the hoop toward you. All embroideries can be mirror imaged, side to side for double the creative options. Touch stitch number 31, the laurel wreath. To make room in your hoop to mirror your design, Use one of the four directional arrows to move your hoop as far left as possible. So the first color, green. Now touch stitch 31 again and select side-to-side -side mirror image. A mirror image symbol appears in the info display. Sew the laurel wreath, adding color number two, the red berries, in the mirror image setting. Next, select stitch 31 again and move your hoop again as far left as possible. Use the color stepping to advance to color two, the red berries. Finish the left side of the design. Embroideries can be rotated 90 degrees. You can create lovely large designs by simply sewing one embroidery, such as number 17, four times. Touch stitch number 17, the stop sign and run to sew. The stop allows your design to sew completely without color changes. An easy way to remember which way your embroidery will face is to draw an E on a normal embroidered sample. Touch the E on the stitch panel. In the info display, the E in the hoop flips to indicate the direction your design is being sewn. Match the E in the info display to the direction of the E on the sample. Not only can you step stitch by stitch with the stitch minus and plus buttons, you can also step color by color. This allows you to easily sew a part of an embroidery. To sew just the flower petals and the centers of Design 17, touch the color step plus button to step through color 1, 2, and 3. Watch the color number in the info display until the number you want appears, number four, petals. Sew the petals, then the centers, color five. Easy. The embroidery booklet is your guide. Change the size of a design to meet your project needs. For best results, use a finer thread for sewing reduced designs and heavier threads for larger designs. To change the size of an embroidery, simply touch the stitch width and stitch length buttons. Use the reduction option when embellishing a small area or combining designs in the hoop. Better yet, enlarge a design to 150% to add a bold statement to anything. With thousands of embroidery designs available in the Husqvarna Embroidery Library, your possibilities are endless. Visit your local Husqvarna Viking dealer to become inspired. Your Husqvarna Viking Rose is the quilter's dream machine with special features to make machine piecing and quilting a delight. Select a quilt stitch from Embroidery Card 1 Stitch number 20. Set the embroidery foot for quilt weight fabric by pushing the lever to the back. Hoop the backing fabric, batting, and quilt top fabric. Tighten the hoop screw.
There are a number of quilt designs on Embroidery Card 1. You'll also find quilt designs on Quilt and Country Embroidery Card 3 or Celebrity Embroidery Card 14, designed exclusively for Husqvarna by Canadian quilter Camille Ramey. Larger-than-life embroideries can be sewn thanks to the optional plus hoop and plus embroidery cards. Insert the embroidery card and consult the info display window. Move the lever on the embroidery foot forward for lighter weight fabric. Choose your plus embroidery from the embroidery book which comes with your plus embroidery card. The book shows you the menu as well as what part of the large embroidery is sewn on each of the three hoop positions. For instance, P3 indicates position 3 in the hoop. M3 means menu 3. This part of the large design is found in menu 3 and will be sewn in position 3 in the hoop. Trace your design on the positioning template and mark your fabric. The hoop has three different positions so that it can be moved for each of the three embroidery sections to be sewn. Select stitch 25. The info display should read menu 1. Slide the plus hoop onto the embroidery arm. Push the front purple button and slide the hoop up to the position 1 until it clicks. Sew the first part of the embroidery. Slide the hoop down to position 2. Touch the menu button to menu 2. Sew the second part of the embroidery. Then slide the hoop to position 3 and touch menu 3. Sew the third and last section of your design. These plus hoop embroideries are perfect for fashion and home deck sewing. Your new Husqvarna Viking is a superior sewing machine. Touch the picture of the stitch, then sew. The rows instantly adjust to one of 40 built-in stitches. With so many options, you'll always find the right stitch for all your practical sewing needs. When you turn your Husqvarna Viking on, it is always ready to sew a straight stitch at normal stitch length of 2.5. Rethread with regular sewing thread on the top and in the bobbin. Remove the embroidery foot and replace with the ankle and A foot for standard sewing. Leave presser foot pressure at four. Try sewing a straight stitch. Press the reverse arrow at the beginning and end of a seam to tie off or backstitch. Touch the stitch length buttons to shorten or lengthen the stitch. To baste, lengthen the stitch to six and reduce the top tension to make the threads easier to remove. Put the tension back to normal or turn the machine off and on again to reset the automatic tension. The three-step zigzag is a strong flat overcast stitch. Use the three-step zigzag stitch to finish your fabric's edge, preventing it from fraying. Touch stitch number five. It is automatically set at the standard length and width. Adjust length and width as needed. Snap on the J or overcast foot. Stitch right along the fabric edge with the right swing of the needle jumping just off the edge. The J foot has a pin which holds the stitch up along your fabric's edge. The four different seam and overcast stitches are similar to a husky lock overlock stitch, securing and finishing your seam all in one easy step. There are different types of overlock stitches for different weights and types of fabric. Touch stitch is for lightweights, 7 for medium knits, 13 for heavier knits, and 14 for medium and heavy wovens. This example is a seam overcast stitch for lightweight fabrics. 
touch over edge stitch number seven and consult the info display. Snap on the B foot as recommended. To prevent waving on your knit fabric, reduce the presser foot pressure for knits and spongy fabrics. The flat lock stitch, number 14, will stitch a ready to wear type hem. Press the hem in place, touch stitch 14, and sew from the right side. Trim any excess hem allowance away. You'll never again hem by hand once you've sewn a truly invisible blind hem using your Husqvarna Viking. Touch stitch 15 for knits and stitch 16 for wovens. Consult the info display. Snap on the blind hem foot D as recommended. Set presser foot pressure to normal four. Fold your hem, wrong sides together and pin. Next, fold the pinned hem toward the right side of your garment, creating a single layer edge. You will sew along this single layer of hem on the wrong side. The fold of the hem will ride along the large toe of the blind hem foot. If needed, adjust the stitch width so the fold is just barely caught by the wider zag of the stitch, creating a truly invisible blind hem. Needles are an important element to successful sewing. Use the needle appropriate for the type and weight of fabric. Husqvarna Viking recommends Schmetz needles. Needle sizes range from 60 to 100. The higher the number, the larger the needle. Change your needle often. Never save old needles for future use. Throw them away. Each type of needle is designed for different fabrics and techniques. For example, use a stretch needle for stretch fabric and a jeans needle for heavy blue jeans. For the next technique, use a jeans needle. To remove the existing needle, use the screwdriver from the accessory set. Loosen the needle clamp screw by turning it counterclockwise. Remove the needle and replace it by putting the flat side of the jeans needle to the back of the machine. Push the needle up as far as it will go. Tighten the screw. To make any stitching more precise, touch the selectronic needle stop to set the needle to stop in the up or down position, or tap the foot control to raise or lower the needle after the machine stops. To hem jeans, select the straight stitch one and snap on the A presser foot. Lengthen your stitch to four. Slide off the accessory tray to utilize the free arm. When you reach the thick seam allowance area, use the button reed to level the hem. Stop at the seam thickness with the needle in the fabric. Raise the presser foot and place the button reed behind the foot to level it. Lower the presser foot. Sew across the seam allowance, stopping with the needle down before dropping off the thick area. Raise the presser foot and move the button reed to the front. Lower the presser foot. Continue to stitch until back on the level hem area. Again, raise the presser foot, remove the button reed, lower the presser foot, and sew your hem. The tedious task of mending becomes a real pleasure with the automatic darning stitch in a new Husqvarna rose. To repair holes or tears in just about anything, touch stitch number 11. Begin at the top of the hole or tear and sew down over it. When the stitching is at the bottom of the hole, touch reverse and watch the magic. The stitch will continue to darn back and forth across the hole. Touch stop to put this exact stitch into memory. Repeat the stitch as needed for larger holes and tears. Touch stitch 12 for an automatic taper stitch that is perfect for monograms and tapering while appliqueing. The stitch will begin sewing a satin stitch at a point and widen to the set width of your satin stitch. Touch reverse to taper to a point and tie off. Program this exact tapered stitch into memory by touching stop. Sew as many as you'd like, each exactly like the first. You can sew in 25 different needle positions for accurate top stitching and perfect seam lines. Touch straight stitch one and the width button. 
Each width setting moves the needle one step to the left to adjust your needle position to the right, touch side to side mirror image, and then the width button again. The optional edge joining foot has a guide for perfect top stitching along the edge of a garment. The flange of the foot rides along the edge of your garment. Adjust your needle position to achieve the exact distance you desire. Perfectly straight and truly professional results. The exclusive sensor buttonhole foot is truly one step easy. You'll never shy from making buttonholes again. Perfect results time and time again. Snap on the foot and push the plug into the socket to the left of the light. Select your buttonhole style, measure the button, and enter the button size in millimeters using the plus or minus length button. Line up the white marks on the sensor foot wheel. The buttonhole will begin sewing away from you. The sensor buttonhole foot actually measures the size and automatically sews the buttonhole accordingly in one step. Every buttonhole is perfect. Always test sew a sample buttonhole on a scrap of the same fabric and interfacing. Cut the buttonhole open with the seam ripper or buttonhole knife. If more ease is needed, increase the length setting by one number. To sew on buttons, select the zigzag stitch number four. Drop the feed teeth. Snap off the presser foot. Adjust your stitch so the zig and zag land in the buttonholes. Glue stick or tape the button in place and lower the ankle onto the button. Turn the hand wheel for one stitch to be sure the needle lines up with the holes. Zigzag the button in place. Touch stop to tie off. Quick and easy. Remember to bring the feed teeth back up. Your Husqvarna Viking Rose has four permanent memories. To program stitches or letters into memory, touch Function to program or P-R-O-G. Touch M, Memory, to call up one of the four permanent memories. Each memory holds up to 55 stitches or letters. Touch the menu button to reveal three menu selections in the info display, including two lettering styles. Stitch menu, outline block lettering, and script lettering. Snap on the decorative foot B. Select the outline block lettering menu. To program rows, touch function to program. Touch stitch 18 and the right cursor arrow to enter. Stitch 15 enter, 19 enter, and five enter. Touch stop to sew the word rows only once. Touch function to repeat to sew. Place stabilizer under your fabric and sew. The info display window allows you to preview your programming before sewing. Check your lettering by using the enter or arrows forward or reverse. Consult the handy quick info for a guide to programming decorative stitches and pictogram elements. Create unique one-of-a-kind pictogram designs by combining geometric satin element stitches. Touch function to program. Empty memory one by touching C, L, R, or clear. Or if you prefer, select an empty memory. Touch menu to bring up the stitch menu for programming your pictogram. Program stitch 37, enter, stitch 30, mirror image, enter, Stop, enter. Touch function to repeat and sew. Before you begin sewing, as a guide, trace a quick outline of your pictogram design onto your fabric using a pictogram or disappearing ink pen. It's that easy to create your own leaves, flowers, shapes, and decorative combinations. The possibilities are unlimited. Beautiful heirloom treasures are one touch away with your Husqvarna Viking Rose. Traditional entredeau and hem stitches are easy to sew with a wing needle and natural fibers, laces, and threads. Touch function to normal. Touch stitch 20. 
contra dough for lace insertions and edgings. Insert a wing needle. A wing needle opens the weave of your fabric by poking a large hole. The forward and reverse motion of your stitch and threads then hold these holes open. A few tips for creating the sought after look of long ago. Use fine two ply thread in your needle and bobbin. Place a stabilizer under lightweight fabrics. Select linen or other loosely woven natural fiber fabrics for best results. After stitching the lace in place, trim the fabric away from behind it. Applique is easy and fun with your Husqvarna Viking Rose. Simply touch the pre-programmed applique, stitch number 38, and you're ready to sew. No other adjustments are needed. Sew your applique using the engraved markings on your B-foot as a guide. If desired, use your stitch width to adjust the satin stitch to match the size of your applique, narrower for smaller elements and wider for larger appliques. Stitch 33. Heirloom applique is daintier and imitates the look of a hand-stitched edge. Hand look quilting by machine. Simply touch stitch number 31. Thread the bobbin with your desired thread color. Thread your needle with clear invisible thread. Reduce your presser foot pressure to three for better maneuverability. You may want to slide on your extension bed for a larger sewing surface. Mark the quilt design on the fabric with a pictogram pen. As you sew, the invisible top thread pulls the bobbin thread up to the top of your work, actually creating a hand-picked appearance. Quilts are finished in a fraction of the time on your Husqvarna Viking. Care of your Husqvarna rose is easy. Oil is never needed thanks to the sintered steel bearings. To clean lint from the bobbin area, drop the feed teeth, Place the plate remover on the lint brush and lift and remove the stitch plate. Brush away any lint and fuzz. Replace the stitch plate and sew. Your Husqvarna Viking Rose is more than just a sewing machine. It is a creative sewing adventure. Take a look at these optional accessories, which give your Husqvarna Viking Rose top-of-the-line capabilities, including accessory feet to enhance your sewing pleasure, thousands of embroidery designs from the Husqvarna Embroidery Library, and additional Husqvarna embroidery cards with themes ranging from sewing tools to holidays. Best of all, you can create your own customized professional embroideries using the Husqvarna embroidery software systems already available for the ever-popular Husqvarna Viking No. 1 Plus. The Husqvarna Embroidery Customizing System, the Husqvarna Embroidery Digitizing System, and now Husqvarna Embroidery Customizing for Windows 95. Endless creative possibilities from Husqvarna Viking.